back. As you can see from the title, we're going to be talking about the new ColourPop Ultra Metallic Lips. And ColourPop has been selling out of these Ultra Metallic Lips. They have sold out three times, I want to say. Maybe four. I think three. Hopefully I'm not incorrect. When they first released these metallic lips, I was able to catch them the first time around and I got all four and I will be showing you swatches and also on my lips and on my hands so you guys can see. I actually haven't done a swatch lip swatch video in a very long time so I really hope you guys enjoyed that. So if you guys would like to see how these metallic lips look on me, then go ahead and keep on watching. The most latest update by ColourPop is that they're all sold out. I believe this was the third or fourth time that they actually put these out and they just haven't been able to stay in stock because they're just selling like hotcakes. Metallic lips are apparently the hottest trend going on right now. I just started getting into it. Honestly, when I saw the metallic trend happening, I thought it was pretty cool and something new. That I wanted to try the metallic lips, but I didn't know which brand to try. I still haven't been able to get my hands on the Milani kind because it just doesn't want to appear in any stores near me, so it's so hard to find them. So when ColourPop released these, I thought they were super affordable and I just wanted to try them out, so I bought all four. First off, I want to talk about the packaging. Packaging is just how it looks. It looks just like how the Ultra Matte Lips and the Ultra Satin Lips come in. They are priced at $6 each. Now, I did purchase these with my own money. I am not sponsored, nor am I affiliated with ColourPop, so these opinions and all this is true to my own. Just letting you know. I noticed that the first two that I'm going to be swatching and showing you guys are more metallic and sheen and then the last two are more glittery looking. I just don't know exactly how would you pair these metallic shades with what look. So it's like you definitely have these to play with. That's why I love the price point. Because they're six dollars a piece, they're very affordable so you don't have to spend so much to try something new and what if you don't like it? you might be spending a little too much. So first off, I can tell when I swatched them, when I took the applicator out of the bottle, the first time I actually used these, I noticed that some of the shades have a more fluffed out dough applicator. And I kind of thought that was weird, that it looked so fluffy and like flared out looking. So I'm not sure if it was normal, but then I saw so many people commenting on their posts saying that they got the same kind of applicators and they didn't like them. I don't really see an issue with them that they're being all fluffy and flared out like that. There was a lot of controversy going on with the formula of these lippies. Now when I first tried these on, I thought to myself just by putting it on, the formula is very sheer and I also could tell that there wasn't really much in the packaging. Like the bottle itself doesn't seem like there's formula in there and I don't know, I feel like when you look at it, if you look at the packaging through and through, you can see that there's some gaps and some holes in there, so you don't know if there's actually enough product held in the bottle. And that's what I thought. I thought that was kind of weird. I thought maybe, I don't know, some of the product was missing. I didn't know if it was a full-size bottle, but I went ahead and tried them on anyway. I do love the texture. They're very smooth to the lips. I love the formula. They have no scent to them, I don't think. They have a slight scent to them. Very slight, if you can't really tell as much unless you're really, really sniffing. Unless you're really, really taking a nice smell to it. But the formula is very soft and it's very sheer. When I first was applying the formula onto my lips, I noticed that it's very sheer. If you want to go in and have a more bolder look, you might want to apply a second layer or two just because it does come out sheer. So it's a very light texture. It's not sticky at all, and that's what I love about this. The formula is definitely not sticky, and it's very nice and smooth, and it glides on really well. So the first shade I'm swatching is Maneater, which I actually thought was a funny name. Maneater. Kind of like Ant Eater, but man instead of an ant. <laughs> I thought this shade was kind of funny. It is really cool. It's like a bronzy color, but with a little more gold in it when I swatched it. So I thought it was really nice. It does have a little bit of rose gold, more rose gold than gold. So you'll have to pardon me on the description of these colors because I don't think I'm that well. But yeah, more of a rose gold bronze is Maneater. The next one is Zebra. Zebra was more of a cool tone bronze to me and this was the one where the applicator was the most fluffiest in my opinion. Zebra is actually more darker, more of a brown. I feel like I can see a little bit of plum in that shade. 
The next one is called Three Way. Now, Three Way is actually one of my favorites. I think this is my second favorite, I have to say. And it's more of a plummy, dark, bronzy shade. I like this one. This one's really nice. Pigmentation is great. Like, with one swipe, I do get the pigmentation. And I feel like once you apply it to your lips, they're actually sheared out a little bit. But when you apply it to the hand, one swipe is a really good swipe. Really good pigmentation. I don't have any problems with the pigmentation. And these are my personal opinions. Like, you can see from the swatches, they're not thinned out at all. The last shade is actually my favorite. Now, three-way I actually have on the lips, but the last one is my favorite. It's called Queen. Queen is a beautiful reddish bronzy color. Now, I feel like while it does have that sheen metallic to it, I feel like it has glitter on top. Whereas the first two are more sheen, more metallic. The last two are sheen, but with glitter. So I feel like they're more glittery instead of metallic. As you can see from the swatches, one swipe, I do have a consistent pigment. And I know that I can tell and I can feel it when I take the wand out that it does feel like there isn't product inside. But there is product inside. I've heard people having to move their wands around inside the packaging to try to get product out. But I didn't seem to have that problem, especially when I applied it. Now when I applied it on my hands the first time, it was a little bit streaky. But now I'm applying it on my hands and I feel like it has really nice pigmentation. Now for $6 for each one of these, you can't beat that price when you want to try something new. Like me, I've never tried metallic lips before. This is the first time I'm actually trying metallic lips. I really want to pick up the Milani ones, so I wanted to start with these first. They keep selling out, and with reason, because the shades are beautiful. And I think that when you're wanting to try something new at such an affordable price, it's definitely worth it to try out, especially when you're new to metallic lips and you just want to try something new. And at that price point, you can't beat that. I've been keeping up with ColourPop updates on Snapchat and they keep saying that they're going to be restocking it but they just can't seem to keep them in stock long enough. But I did hear from like their very very first snap about these that they're going to be releasing other colors of course. Just like the ton of colors that they have for the Super Shock Shadows, they're going to be releasing more colors of this metallic lip line so I'm actually pretty excited for that because I do want more colors. I think for the price point you get great pigmentation, it's not too sheer. Yeah, I feel like the ones are a bit fluffed and flared out, but that's not too big of a deal, especially. I mean, you're paying $6 for one color. I mean, the packaging is really cool. I think I, I like it. The, my personal opinions, I like it. I know a lot of people have had bad luck with their applicators and their formulas. I haven't had bad luck with mine. I feel like mine are pretty consistent. Now, real quickly, I want to mention that I did wear Queen at work, and it did last on me a couple hours before I decided to drink, eat, and of course it'll wear off just not all the way. It kind of gradually fades away when you start eating and drinking. It'll start wearing away, fading off on its own, but it's not too bad. And it, of course, what I like about these also is that after it fades away a little bit, when you go in to apply, it doesn't get gross and grummy and gritty like what you would have to deal with when you apply liquid lipsticks and you know things like that. I love that about these. These are awesome. So just layer on and you'll get awesome pigmentation. And also forgot to mention that as you're taking these off, if you do take them off with a white beam, I don't know if you can see that, but you will have some glitter, some glitter left behind or maybe all over your face, but yeah. So that is it, that is my review and swatches of the new ColourPop Metallic Lips and I really hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below and let me know if you grab some for yourself. I really love talking to you guys and yeah, I'm pretty excited for ColourPop's new shades that they say they're going to release in the future. If they can keep them in stock long enough for everybody to get their hands on, that would be great. Don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.